Welcome back, fuckers. All right, we are airborne and we are en route to wreck some shit with the JSAO. So we have got, at the moment, we've got one of each. So we've got the JSAO C and the JSAO A. So remember, JSAO A is our cluster munition, JSAO C is our hardened target or bunker buster. So we're going to set our fusing up to replicate what we want to do. So with our hardened, uh, hardened target penetrator warhead we're going to set that to delay one on the fusing so we get a little bit more uh, penetration into the target and then our cluster munition we're just going to leave it on instant e-fuse instant okay so we've got mode too selected for both we've got alignment quality zero one good and we have got our targeting pod on the jet ready to go so current weapons configuration we have got this would be what I'd recommend. If you're going to do JSAO strikes and you want to try and extend or get as much range as you can on the JSAO, you want to take as uh, little shit on your jet as possible. So we've got one JSAO on the inboard pylons only and outboard pylons are clean. We've removed the pylon off of the aircraft and we've got a tank on just because, you know, you're generally going to be flying a Hornet with a tank on, uh, tank pod on the left-hand cheek and an AMRAM for self-protection. So that is us and we're going to... Go ahead and press unpause. Active pause is off. So we're at Angels 39. We're going to actually climb up a touch more. Try and get as fast as we can. So we're currently uh, put a waypoint in 90 miles. So our targeting pod won't render in until it gets to about 40 mile. But we've started so far away here. We're just going to go Angels 40 and we'll go autopilot on. There we go. What a pilot on. So we're in max afterburner. Uh, our tank is almost empty. As soon as it gets empty, we'll punch it off. So when our, that's our total fuel load, 10,700, total internal. When these two equal the same, we know our fuel tank is empty. And then we can go ahead and punch it off with our select jet and select jettison. So we'll just cruise on through. So you can see on the HSI here, that circle, that is our max range or time till uh, max range launch on said JSAO. So we're gonna hit uh, max range before we can actually see our target area. That's how far out you can reach with these things. You can see we've got a timer here, two minutes 40 till we're in range of waypoint one. So I've just put a waypoint in the rough area. Um, but again, if you had the actual precise coordinates on where a uh, target was you could do this without a targeting pod and just you know launch from like what are we 70 mile away it's probably going to be about 60 mile by the time we get there all right let's punch off the tank get a little bit more speed on the jet tank away off she goes so if you're uh, doing sorties with eight JSAOs on board you are definitely not going to be pulling numbers like this okay you're going to be struggling to get past Mac 1 probably won't even make it past Mach 1 with that much drag on the jet. So the faster and higher you are, the longer legs you're going to put on the JSAB. All right, so I'm just going to, uh, through the magic of video editing, I'm going to get ourselves until we hit time to max range and we'll see how long or how far away we are from the target area that we can actually uh, deploy these bad boys. So I'll see you guys in a second. Righto, there we go. We just hit in range, so 55 mile. We can tweak one of these JSAOs from 55 mile and hit a target, put one of these bad boys straight through the window of something if we chose to. So if you have the precise coordinates, 55 mile is at Angels 40 doing Mach 1.18. That's how far away you can launch these things. 55 nautical mile for a bomb. That's absolutely ridiculous. All right, so now we're gonna, I'll uh, again, fast forward a touch more or edit a little bit more until we get our targeting pod to render in and then we'll pick our targets out and we're going to launch both of JSAOs at said targets. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, let's go active pause here. So our targeting pod has just started to render in. So we're at 39 miles, so 40 miles for the targeting pod in the Hornet at the moment in DCS world uh, is the range that your targeting pod will actually start to render imagery in. Okay, so if you're outside of 40 mile, you're not going to see anything on the time pod. It'll just, be, it'll just look green because it's too far away. Okay, it hasn't rendered in the graphics. So it's a limitation we've got. Uh, so now we're going to zoom in. So we have our 
let's go. So we've got the JSAL A, which is our cluster munition. We're gonna go ahead, zoom on in, and we're gonna put said JSAL on this here SAM site. So we've got an SA6 SAM site. Uh, right there, we wanna get that guy. Okay, so because we are gonna go target designate now, TDC depress, we are well within range. Cause remember we, uh, we could have fired from 55 nautical mile. So we are well within. So as soon as your targeting pod renders in, you can pretty much uh, shoot a JSA off if you've got the speed, okay? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead now, designate that, which we have, and JSA A variety is selected. Just double check, mode TOO, E fuse is set to instant, and we have an alignment of zero one good. It says JSA ready, we are good to pickle. So we're gonna go ahead and hit active pause off. We'll go to external mode and pickle off weapon. Weapon away. Now we're going to go ahead and select JSAL C. And let's zoom out a touch. There is a bunker here that we're going to hit or try to hit. Okay, so get him in the right spot. Put him right through the side there. And just confirming we're in mode TOO. E fuse we've set to delay one now because we've got the JSAL C. Currently 33 mile from target. And we've got an in-range queue. So now we're gonna go ahead and deploy the JSAR C. Weapon away. And we can put ourselves in a lovely, lovely hook around turn. And we don't need to do anything else. Okay, so weapons are away. So here we go. This is AGM 154A. So the first one we shot, and that's what it looks like. It has wings that pop out and it glides. That's why it has got the range. It's effectively a flying bomb okay so it's got a gps guidance kit it will steer itself where it needs to go on that uh, gps coordinate and then there's our other guy angels 32 if we have a look in f10 view here because we fired our second one later we actually overtook the first one so the agm 60 54c is going to make contact first all right, so while that's doing its thing, let's go through, where is it? It's roughly around here, is the area. So cool little trick, if you don't know already, get a little bit of extra bonus. So you're gonna zoom in on the map, left click on the map where you wanna look, and then you're gonna press left control F11, and that's gonna zoom in, or go to uh, the actual spot on the ground in free cam mode. If you didn't know that, it's a cool little trick to uh, set yourself up some sweet camera angles so we'll get it so we can see both here yeah it's pretty good and then every time i press f11 now so f6 is f6 is to select the uh weapons in the air weapon view and then because i set that up if i press f11 now it'll go back to that view that i had all right so that's some cool little tricks so I'll see you guys when uh, this shit is about to hit. Righto, here we go. So we've got the AGM 154C is almost there. You can see the target ahead of us. It's doing its uh, final flight in to get the optimum angle to hit said target. So this is gonna be the hardened bunker. It's gonna hit that one right there. So now we're gonna go to F11 view and let's see if we can see this guy come in. Watching now. Bam, there it goes. First one's hit. That's a tough bunker there, but we definitely hit, and our next one shouldn't be too far away. Waiting for the SAM site to get fucked up. There we go. Munitions. Bam. So that's the difference. Hardened bunker buster. Buster munitions. So if you've got stuff out in the open like a sam site for example uh really good standoff capabilities to uh, if there's a whole heap of targets nice and close together the old jsau got that in my mouse jsau a version is quite handy for reaching out and touching some targets only thing you need to worry about oh my god and we come back in and we're stalling oh let's just uh kick that in the guts <laughs> my god that's what happens when you go into uh, external view for too long uh the only thing you got to worry about with the the jsows is because 
they come in rather slow. Okay, their airspeed by the time they actually uh, get to target is going to be pretty slow in comparison to uh, like a harm or something like that. Uh, there is certain missiles, certain SAM sites, sorry, that can actually engage and shoot down your JSAL. So if there is an SA-15, an SA-8, a HQ-7, the Chinese HQ-7, uh, and I believe SA-11, I'm not sure on SA-11, but definitely an SA-15, an SA-8, and a HQ-7, they can and will shoot your JSALs down before they hit the target. So they will lock them up, they'll see them, they'll lock onto them, and they will fire missiles at them to shoot them down, like self-protection mode. So just be aware of that. If there is SA-15s, SA-8s, or HQ-7s in the area that you want to use JSALs, your JSALs will probably get shot down. Righto. Hope that helped, boys. And as always, if you haven't already, hit the like button to show your support of the video also if you haven't already hit subscribe and come on in and check me out on twitch stream monday to friday on uh, 1300 roughly one o'clock australian western standard time and we just do shenanigans and blow stuff up on stream so yeah i'll catch you guys later hope it helped catch you later fuckers